I would now like to request our director, sir, to please come up on the stage for his opening remarks. Good morning. I take this opportunity to extend our special welcome to our star-studded panel on the occasion of 36th edition of Technia National Conference, taken up by the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication on the topic, National Education Policy, Human Values, and Media Education. Uh, Technia Institute of Advanced Studies is a flagship uh, institute of Technia Group of Institution. It's a NAC A grade institute approved by AICT, Government of India, GGC IP University, affiliated with GGC IP University, and under Section 2F of UGC, 1956. Sir, it, st it started its uh, venture starting in the 1999 with MBA and BBA. Journalism and mass communication was the first year, 2003 onwards, and BCA we started recently in 2019. Institute is 2009 2015 compliant. 14,001, 2015 compliant, 21,001, 2018 compliant, and 51,001 and 2018 certified for standardizations. In uh, the institute features among top 50 business schools of North Zone, and the Week Hansa Research Survey features it in the top 50 institutes as far as the BB education is concerned. Institute has also established Institution Innovation Council under the norms of Ministry of Education, formerly Ministry of HRD, for innovation cell to promote innovation and startups and establishing the entrepreneurship development programs. Of late, we are hardly to note that our team of BCA will be able to clarify Darkathon, uh, challenge of Darkathon with all over India to the second round. Here they will be able to uh, help the directorate of uh, the thing which is referred to the contra brand and this thing that how to nab out the persons who are going to sell the narcotics. So they are helping the narcotics department to nab the transit points of the narco through the IT field. This we have done recently. We have, And also our eco club is the only club in the IP industry who have got the best eco club in Delhi, Government of Institute of Delhi. Only institute from the, among all the IP industry is the Technia for these two things. This is a very recent agency and this is because of all you volunteers doing work very hard for the pause. Institutes also provided value added programs, capability enhancement programs, career counseling sessions, soft skills, expertise, knowledge for developing the young budding professionals. Institute has also set up the TIES and PTA local chapter to complete, complete the MOOCs course with e-certification for making students employable. Institute has ultra-modern infrastructure for value-based education, which conducts training, research, consultancy, national and international conferences, seminar, faculty exchange program, technical and cultural fest in 2019. And it's the first time, I think so most of you are aware, that we are going for student exchange program with, with the uh, Sikkim. So most of you are aware of, we have been planning from 20th of June to 26th of June, uh, a batch of 25 students, they will be heading for Sikkim uh, as a brand ambassador for, for Delhi. And it will be flagged off by the uh, minister uh, of that, uh, Pradhanji, from the New Delhi railway station to take up the Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat protocol. It's, it is the only institute in IP industry which has been able to come under that rail. And protection will be provided to the end to range by the ITB. ITBB police force. So those who have been selected for that, uh, very nice, they are going to uh, understand and they will learn new things in their journey. The institute every year conducts one international conference, four national conference, academic and cultural fest. When I say academic and cultural fest, academic fest you have got virtues, endeavor and the IT fest. Special technical sessions, expert lectures, soft skill sessions and so on. For today's conference, Institute is organizing 36th National Conference, National Education Policy, Human Values and Media Education. You must have been aware, aware about that NEP. 26th of July 2020 outlines the vision for the new education policy system in India. The new education policy system replaces the previous one in 1986. The policy is a comprehensive framework 
for the elementary education, for the higher education and for the vo uh, vocational education, both in the rural area and for the urban area. The policy aims from transforming the Indian education system by 2040. Shortly after the release and the aims and transformation, India education system by 2040, shortly after the release of this policy, the government clarified that no one will be forced to study a particular language. There would be medium of instructions that will be shift from English to any other region language or vernacular language. The language policy of NEP is a broad guidelines and advisory in nature and it is up to the states and institutions and schools to decide on its implementation. But the today's topic is most apt human values and media. Two days back we have seen one of the child has killed his mother because he is prone for PUBG. Now how a person can be so gross and gross in that particular thing, he has gone in certain depression, somebody says no and without understanding anything he is going to uh, fire on her mother when she is sleeping from a point blank range that she is no more and doing her normal routine work. This is a very pathetic, somewhere or the other, all these things will become misnomer if we don't have human values. So this topic of human values and media education, you people are the media educator and human values are the basic to everything. If we say to be called ourselves humans, then we must have a human values and a pain for others. There is no, should not be sympathy, there has to be empathy. So towards the attainment of such holistic multidisciplinary education, flexibility, innovative in curr curriculum, all HEIs, that means higher education institute shall be include credit-based courses, there would be credit-based courses, projects on the areas of community age engagements, service for the environment education, value-based education. Environment education will be include such as the climate change, pollution, waste management, sanitization, conservation of biodegradable, uh, biodegradable diversity, ma management of uh, biological resources, biodiversity, then the forest and wildlife conservation, sustainable development and life and living and value-based education which includes the development of human values, ethics, very important, ethics, constitutional and universal human values, that means what is universal human values? Truth, Satya, right, tears, conduct, dharma, the conduct talks of the dharma, peace, that is shanti, love, that is you can May, means that you have to have a sympathy and empathy for other prem that will say non-violence that is ahinsa scientific temper citizen values and the life skills these are lessons of seva service and participation in community services programs will be considered as an integral part of holistic education as the world is going to become inter increasingly interconnected when we talk of global citizenship education gced GCED, that means a response to the contemporary global education challenges will be providing and empower learners to become more aware about the understanding of global issues that become active promoters of more peaceful, tolerant, inclusive, secure and sustainable societies. Finally, as a part of holistic education, students from all HEIs will be provided with opportunity for good doing internship with local industry, business, artists, craftsmen, persons, etc. and do a research and internship with faculty and researcher at their own and the student will be actively engaged in practical side and learning those things by product and product through their employability. The students will be sensitized through a new study brought in by the teacher, trained social workers, counselors as well as through the corresponding changes to bring about inclusive social education in the curriculum. So the human values such as the respect for all others, that is the pivot point, early on material, empathy, tolerance, human rights, gender equality, then uh, global citizenship, inclusion and, and, and equity, all these things are more desirable. Any biasness, any stereotypeness in the curriculum will be removed and more material will be included in relevant uh, rateable values to all communications. The upcoming directions of the media education 
should be in such that that meet me, it can be able to meet the challenges for implementation of the lofty ideals of the NEP 2020. And at the same time, uh, we are going to reconfiguration of those points. So our new education policy will talk about the making the media education a holistic one, create the education 4.0 learning experiences, and the new generation of uh, professionals, inclusiveness, multilingualism, and culture for the research. I think so, the, the, the topic is most apt. The deliberation of this conference is compiled in the form of proceedings. For the future reference, I wish this conference to achieve its objectives to provide a multidisciplinary forum for the exchange of latest knowledge and ideas and development on the issues of new education policies and with help of media education. This event will bring together like-minded forces with mutual respect and mutual support. I wish each one of you give my best wishes to participants over this 36th conference, Technia National Conference on the topic. Thank you. Jai Hind. God bless you all. Sayonara.